everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and I'm going to show you how to add a sitemap with the Magento 2 backend. Uh, very, very simple. All you have to do is go to Marketing and click on SEO and Search Sitemap right there. And you're going to add a sitemap. Very, very simple. Um, this sitemap will be automated, and every time you add new products, it'll update. Okay, so uh, you're going to specify the file name, uh, just best practice, just do sitemap.xml and the path. Is it going to be in the root directory? Is it going to be in a folder, you know, etc. So let's just do in the root directory, which is typically pretty, pretty common. And uh, now you have to select the specific store view. If you have multiple languages, multiple sites, you're going to have to do it. Um, so once, once you do that, very simple, you're going to save or save and generate. So let's click on save. Okay, and then you're, you can click on the generate here. Okay, so once you do that, if cron is running, it'll continue to update that. Okay, so if I go here to sitemap.xml, now you can see my sitemap.xml with everything inside. Okay, so one more thing. So this will just update by itself. Uh, now the search engines can view it. Of course, you can go to like Google Search Console and add your sitemap and have make sure Google keeps on going. Uh, visiting your website. Okay, one more thing which is important for a few settings that you can do for here because this sitemap is automatically created. So if you go to store and configuration and then you go to catalog, uh, excuse me, you go to catalog right here and then XML sitemap, you're going to have a few settings you can set right here. Okay, so for example, you can specify how often to visit the category page, the content pages, the product pages, and then what is the priority? So typically there's there's a priority. You can specify that you know certain pages uh, or certain groups of pages. So category pages have higher priority than product pages, or content pages have less, etc. So you gotta uh, understand a little bit more before you touch it about sitemap uh, configuration. But that's the idea. So you can set these for categories, products, and content pages. Okay, um, You can specify how often to generate uh, the sitemap XML, what we just created. Okay, And you can specify also if you um, do have an error in generation where you know specify an email and it'll send you an alert. Okay, So depending on how often your uh, catalog refreshes or your pages, you may select you know something different here. Okay. Um, and then let's say file limits, you can specify if you have a huge catalog, you can specify the maximum number, um, and that's it basically. And then specify if you want the sitemap to be mentioned in the robots.txt. Uh, very, very simple. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Hope you enjoyed the video.